The State Library Victoria's Velvet Iron Ashes exhibition is all about exploring connections between stories in Victorian history. Like for example, the strange connection between Ned Kelly's armour and the ashes. Two items that are linked by a person. Janet Lady Clark was a leading figure in Melbourne society and supported many social justice and other causes relating to women and children. Janet was involved in the establishment of the Women's Hospital and the Australian Women's National League. The Clark family lived at Rupertswood, a mansion in Sunbury, northwest of Melbourne. To give you an idea of how influential Janet Clark was, in 1905 she came second in a poll run by the Herald newspaper to identify Melbourne's 10 best citizens. As it turns out, Janet Lady Clark was the niece of Francis Hare, the police superintendent at Benella during the Glenrowan siege. He was shot by Ned Kelly and was taken to Rupertswood to recuperate. Hare recovered from his injuries and as a gesture of thanks to his niece, he gave her Ned Kelly's armour. The Clarks displayed the armour in the foyer at Rupertswood for a number of years until William Clark decided that he no longer wanted to display a criminal trophy and it was banished to a cellar covered in melee roots and covered with a horse blanket. And here's the link to the Ashes Urn. In 1882, the Clark family invited the English cricket team to join them at Rupertswood for Christmas. The summer before in England, the English team had been beaten by the Australians for the first time ever. And a death notice appeared in the Sporting Times, a spoof announcing the death of English cricket. What fascinates me about these two objects two enduring items of Australian history that people know so well is that they're linked by a person, Janet Lady Clark, about whom very few people know much, who is a fascinating figure and deserves to be much more widely known.